yeah uh, i'll talk about the theoretical part of how we did this so uh, it is based on two models to start with uh, we used uh, media by post detection i mean uh, it's a framework uh, which offers customizable ml solution the framework has solutions for face detection face mesh iris hand detection post detection uh, hair segmentation object detection box tracking so on and so forth but here uh, we use only face face mesh uh, to be precise post connections and hand connections so what we do is we only track these uh, given a video of a human and uh, these uh, detections would in turn generate a lot of points which is what we'll be using in the subsequent models now you can see that it is split into post detection face detection left hand detection and right hand detection now force detection sorry force detection uh, gives you four points that is x y z and visibility so visibility to say if it's visible or not now the length of it is 33 and thus when you multiply 33 with four points uh, you'd be getting 132 per frame and same goes with face detection except uh, for the fact that it does not give another additional uh, point which is visibility but uh, it gives xyz uh, coordinates and uh, it has close to 468 points this happens to be the counters that you see in the face Uh, I'll show you what are the counters, and uh, now uh, since it has three points per frame, if you multiply 468 into three, we'd be getting uh, 1,404 points. Now, I guess uh, uh, the explanation would suffice for left hand and right hand detection. Now, if you add everything up per frame, we are uh, monitoring close to 1,662 points. If we flatten that out. which is what we'll be sending as an input to the model i hope uh, this media pipe post detection is now clear uh, the role of it in our model now uh, this is just a brief explanation about what happens next now that we have uh, 1662 points per frame what we've done is uh, we split the entire training data into 30 frames that is for example let's say that we take one action which is stance what we do is uh, while the video is running live uh, we split the video into 30 frames that is for each frame what we'll be doing is we'll be calculating uh, 1662 points for that frame and we would need 30 frames to decide what is the action uh, is he uh, is he or she having a pre stance that is uh, prior to stance uh, are they taking stance are they playing straight drive are they playing full shot we would need 30 frames because with just one frame we will not be able to make it even as a human so what we have done is we've taken 30 frames and uh, we'll have uh, 1662 points calculated for all of those 30 frames so what happens is uh, per prediction it's going to be 30 frames into 1662 points that's going to be the input to the model now uh, we've taken 30 videos for each of those actions for training so which is 30 videos split into 30 frames and in turn uh, what we done is uh, we've calculated the 1662 points per frame so uh, the overall training size would be 30 multiplied by 4 into 30 frames into 1662 that is what you are seeing in the third uh, bullet point 30 videos per action with 30 frames per video and 1662 points per frame now once we've calculated all that uh, we'll be sending that to an lstm model again you can see that the input shape is 30 frames into 1662 body points that becomes the uh, input to this lstm model and uh, you can see that uh, we've stacked three lstm models out of which two are going to um, retain the memory and uh, last lstm layer is going to get connected to a dense 
uh, network dense layer uh, which is of 62 uh, which is of size 64 and then uh, it again uh, gets connected to another uh, dense layer which is of size 32 and finally we have uh, you know uh, four nodes for for calculating what should be the prediction and four nodes correspond to the actions that we have which is pre stance stance straight drive and pull shot now uh, you can see that uh, this is the first time uh, i've ever been part of a training data myself uh, so far i've only trained uh, um, traditional data or text data or uh, perhaps image or video but this is the first time right uh, i've been part of the training data where i uh, had to hold a bat in front of the video uh, and then i have to play uh, you know straight drive or pull shot and i have to you know basically um, take stance and I need to have random uh, motions here and there to let the computer know or the uh, model know that uh, I'm, I'm in a pre-stance. So generation of training data is upon me and uh, and it's obviously not going to have a lot of variety since uh, it's just going to be me. Um, no one else has contributed to the training data and it is also um, um, very less in number that is only 30 uh, videos per uh, per uh, label which roughly accounts to 120 videos right and again uh, it's split across 30 frames so this is how i've uh, trained the whole model now let's see how it performs in real time So before we try with a real video, uh, we'll try with two sample videos that I downloaded from the internet. And this video talks about how to play straight drive and how to play pull shot. One is start by ABD, which is pull shot, and the other one is by a youngster who plays uh, straight drive perfectly. Let's see what the model has to say when I try with some real time videos. You can see that it is showing straight drive when he plays straight drive and uh, you can also see that the stance is moving towards your right, rightly so. And let's see, yeah, this is another angle. I don't know why it's showing full, probably just because it is being shown the bowler's action. Yeah, now you could see that uh, it's a straight drive. Moment he plays straight drive. And then it goes to pre stance. Then he goes to stance again. Yeah, and then straight drive again. Stance. Probably because the focus is somewhere else. Now let's try with another video, which is for pull shot. Uh, let's see there is a freeze yeah full shot to perfection by abd yeah now let's see how it performs in real time
thanks a lot for watching stay tuned for more